Hey there, so I'm going to show you a really cool way to tilt your camera down using the Futaba THJ. It's actually, I'll show you two ways to do it, so watch until the end, so it's pretty cool. So here's what you do. Um, what you do is you go into the menu here, and I've got my servo-based gimbal connected to my DJI Phantom, as you can see. Go to the settings, and I go to aux channel. You might start off here, but you go to aux channel, and under channel 5, you change it to VR. When you do that, you can actually tilt the gimbal up and down using the little switch right here. However, I don't like the way this works because when you turn it clockwise, it goes up, and when you turn it counterclockwise, it goes down. So I want to switch that because I think it's more intuitive to have it go down when you turn clockwise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and go into the reverse menu here. And under GER, I'm going to go up, and I'm going to push this button down to select it. So now it's up. So now when I turn the VR, it tilts down when I go clockwise, and up when I go counterclockwise, which I like. But wait, there's more. So check this out. Um, I thought it would be really cool to be able to just, you know, while, while you're flying, it's kind of a pain to, to use this knob while flying, and it's not that smooth. So I figured a way to actually rig the G switch. So when you hit this G switch, it'll tilt down automatically. So check it out. I'm going to go into the settings here. I'm going to go into the P mix. I'm going to go to NOR1, whatever that means, but NOR1, select that. And I'm going to turn it on. Actually, it'll, it says off right now, but when I put the switch up here, Put the switch down it then shows it as being on so then down below i go to master and I set master to ger and i set slave to ger the switch is switch g and the position is up now the next part gets a little tricky because i actually want to change these settings up here but you can only get to them if you actually tweak the dial so if I tweak the dial all the way clockwise, it selects the H. If I twist the dial to the left, it selects the rate L. So anyhow, I'm going to go to rate L, and I'm going to change that to negative 1. Negative 100, that is. And I'm going to take this dial, do counterclockwise, and that actually selects the H. I'm going to make that positive 100. Okay. And now, here's where it gets really funky. Now I'm going to select the offset. And the offset, you can't, you can't use the buttons to go up and down. You actually have to use the dial. And so you, what I do is I take the dial and I turn it to 100. And as you can see, the number down below actually changes. I change it to the offset to plus 100%, and I push the button here. And that's it. So here you can see the settings, just to be sure. And now, when I hit the G switch, actually, let me turn this down. No matter what I have it setting, so say I'm up, right here going straight, Hit the G switch and watch what happens. Tilts down. No matter what setting I have this at, it could be all the way up, I hit the G switch, and it goes down. It's pretty good. So I could be flying, 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 just straight on, and then, boop, using my right finger, just flip it up and flip it down. Flip it up, flip it down. And that's it. Hope it works for you guys. Thanks.